the board as well. I have a green board here. Say for a green board, I don't want uh, this red colored pen. I want to change the color of the pen. I have options for changing the color of the pen as, as well. Say a white color pen. I can have a white colored pen as well. Say I want to change the thickness of the pen. I can change the thickness of the pen as well. Say I, I want a thick pen. I can change it from here. Instead of a white or a green board, uh, say as for a musical teacher, I can have a board for the musical annotations as well. Next is uh, for the primary sections for a teacher for a lower grade, the teacher can have a cursive handwriting board. Normally teachers find it very difficult for a uh, for for them to explain it to the students how to write cursive and writing because they have to go to each and every student and tell them okay in this case you have a board you have cursive and writing board you have all the lines here you can just start writing that these are the that's how you write the capital letters between these two lines and probably for the smaller you can have these two lines all those things you can write it here this is a cursive and writing board uh, next is I have a board for uh, manuscripts. So uh, probably log tables, manuscripts you can have. So you have these blocks you can start writing here. One, two, three, or the alphabets you want to teach if any, you can do it here. Next is very innovative uh, board that is a board of a graph. So uh, normally for a maths teacher again it is very very difficult to explain graphs. I have a graph board here. Now, for making graphs, I require something like straight lines, circles, rectangles to be drawn. So, I have options for drawing the straight lines here. Okay, so. So. I have these lines that I can draw. I can make uh, circles here. I can have rectangles. I can have squares. Okay, so all these things uh, probably normally a math teacher would require this to be done. So all these things you can do it pretty easily. Uh, this is uh, also something new. Uh, next is, uh, even if a teacher or a professor uh, has something in his or her pen drive or a CD or probably a diagram or a picture that he wants to explain it to the classroom. Okay, like uh, I must say that normally say a uh, picture is there which is there in front of each and every student in the form of a textbook. That is probably a very small picture. That same picture, if a teacher has in his or her pen drive, that can be put in here. That same picture can be taken like a normal browse file you do. You take it and put it on the software. I'll, I'll tell you how that works. Okay, so that's how you browse a picture. Say I have a few sample pictures, I suppose. Okay, so a picture of a penguin is there, presumably. So the picture of a penguin has been directly inserted into my software. Now the purpose is that the teacher can start writing marking on this very picture itself. That say this is a penguin or uh, these are the legs of a penguin. Okay, so right on this given surface itself, you can start writing. Even if a teacher probably doesn't have uh, anything on his pen drive or a CD, there are inbuilt cliparts. There are inbuilt educational cliparts which are there inside this. I'll uh, show some of them to you. It's not e easy writing on a moving screen, so just excuse me. So I have a lot of cliparts under these categories. If it is uh, readable from the back, also that probably quote I have one of the category. Uh, hemisphere is one of the categories, uh, map of the world is one of the categories, uh, say I chose uh, man, so in the man category I have 
the diagram for body, circulatory organ, respiratory organ, digestive organ. What a teacher needs to do here is just drag and drop. That's it. Now that entire picture, that entire diagram for a teacher, probably these are the diagrams which are there in the textbooks, are there in front of the students. Now, sorry. Yeah. So the teacher, you know, just start marking on this given diagram itself. Again, needless to say, whatever slides which I have created till now are all will be saved inside this. Okay, these are there in, inside this. So I have uh, flip arts as well. I have a uh, lot of options. Uh, probably I can zoom as well. If you want to zoom in through your image, I can do that. I can uh, have something like a spotlight. Okay, if I want to just focus on a particular part of a human body, I can do that. I can have a spotlight as well. I can, by having a spotlight, I can increase or decrease the transparency of this surface as well. Like, I can have a more transparent at the back. I can change the size of this spotlight circle. I can have a smaller uh, size, probably, say a smaller size if I want, I can have that. I can make the circle as a rectangle as well. See, a rectangle is what probably I require, I can do that. So this spotlight feature is very much beneficial when you are explaining the graphs, explaining the maps. If you have a world map, you can have a spotlight and just say that this is where the Philippines country is. So that, that you can do. Other than this, uh, I'll come to a couple of last features I'll show you. Uh, one is a very interesting feature of a blind. Now the feature of a blind is that uh, if me as a teacher wants to ask a question to all the students sitting in the classroom, but I don't want the students to know the answer, I want students to solve the question first and then me as a teacher will answer that question to the students. So say uh, I write a question here, say what is A plus B? the whole square. Okay. I hope everyone knows the answer. But uh, A square? Yeah. That's the right answer. So you use the feature of a blind here. Okay. So you as a teacher will only show the question to the student. Once I am convinced like I was convinced he answered the question, but once I am convinced that you have solved the question, after that only I will show that this is what the answer to the question is. So this is something uh, again uh, innovative for a t teacher who can use. Uh, one last uh, interesting thing in this is I have a recording option. Okay, so I just put a, a camera here. There is a web camera that is connected. Uh, with the help of a web camera, I can do three types of recordings here. Okay, so for the recordings, I have three options, audio, video and screen recording. Say, I start off with the video recording.
Okay. So um, one last recording feature. There's a there's a screen recording option that uh, if you don't want that whole video file to be created, but at the same time you want the screen recording. The meaning of a screen recording is that right now all these slides that you have, these are all static slides. Okay. So probably as a maths professor, when he's writing something, uh, probably he's uh, making any derivation. He's going to cancel a lot of things. He will erase a lot of things, which will not be shown in the static file. Okay. So that is a benefit when you have a screen recording option. I'll show you what that means. Say I start off with a screen recording. Okay. Say one plus three. Say one plus three is two. Now I purposely wrote 5 because if you see the static slide would only have 4 as the answer written over here. You wouldn't know that from where the 4 came or what it is uh, if the professor or the lecturer had done or the user had done, you wouldn't see that. So you have a screen recording option as well. So I have recording options. Uh, these are the recording options which have been appreciated by the schools in the manner that these recorded videos can be sent to the uh, students, can be sent to the parents of the students. As a principal of the school, he can actually monitor if the, if the teachers are properly teaching in the classroom or not. And uh, obviously these static slides are very small slides which can be shooted to the email IDs of the students for the revision purpose. Even for the teacher when he is coming for the next lecture tomorrow or day after tomorrow, they can utilize these slides as a purpose of revision. So uh, this is what the interactivity is. So, so far uh, if anyone wants to ask any of the questions, they are free to do that please.